Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I am a full-time content creator, former interior designer, living in Pittsburgh with my fiance and Labradoodle Indio, who is here with me right now. So I got a little dressed up today and I did some fun makeup. I don't usually do a little cat eye, which I thought would be fun today, just to climb it up a little bit because I'm heading out to do some thrifting, which it's been quite a while since I've done a thrift with me vlog here on my channel. I've been filming a lot of like styling videos lately, like outfits ideas and stuff like that, which I hope you guys have been enjoying, but I thought I would change it up today and do another thrift with me vlog since it's been a little while. And I know that you guys really enjoy my thrifting content. There just hasn't been a ton of great stuff at my good wills recently. I, one of my last trips, I did get this really amazing huge wicker fan from the Goodwill on the south side, but that was the only thing I got, so I didn't really do a vlog that day. So today I'm going to head to my two local Goodwill locations just to make it easy, and hopefully I'll find some cute stuff. Before we get into the video though, please make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed already, and turn on your notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I have a new video. I am uploading two vlogs a week, Friday and Sunday with shorts in between, and I'm super sorry about my squeaky leather jacket. Let me actually show you guys my outfit really fast before I head out. So it is a very gloomy day here in Pittsburgh, so hopefully you guys can see this outfit okay. I hope the video is not going to be like too grainy or anything. Indio is back here too. Um, this is actually a leather jacket outfit that I styled in my recent vlog, which I'll link for you guys if you missed it. The only thing that I changed up today was I'm wearing my black leather boots instead of my suede ankle boots because I didn't want those to get like more ruined in the rain since they already got a little bit ruined the last time I accidentally wore them in the rain. But basically it's a little vintage leather bomber, band tee, um, 70s kind of style wide leg pants, cute saddlebag purse, and then the black ankle boots. So like I said, this is a little bit, it's casual yet still a little bit more dressed up for me. I did do a little bit more with my hair and makeup today just for fun because I felt like it. I already need to clean this mirror but let me know if you guys want to see a makeup routine i don't do my makeup every single day um, and when i do i try to do like a very minimal kind of like no makeup makeup look so let me know if you guys want to see an everyday routine soon okay i'm ready to head out it's time to say bye to indio <laughs> what a good boy oh are you gonna come come here Oh my gosh, what a snuggle bug. What a snuggle bug. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in the parking garage in East Liberty across from the first Goodwill location. This is a very small Goodwill location because East Liberty is a very old neighborhood here in Pittsburgh. It's just in like a very small little storefront. So there's not usually a ton of stuff here. Every now and then they have some gems though. So hopefully I'll find something, whether it's like a basket or a ceramic. Um, I like to also check out like the purse section and and sometimes I'll go for the clothes um, if there's something like specific that I'm looking for. Most of the time I just kind of like check out the home decor. Oh, and then also like books and vintage records or something I like to look at as well. Anyway, let's go ahead and head in. <music>
Okay guys, awkward angle, but I am back in my car now. I um, actually did see a couple of things that I liked, but I didn't pick it up just because I wasn't 100% sure. So the things that kind of caught my eye were this set of like um, wicker wall hangings, but they weren't actually wicker. They were just like meant to look like wicker, but they were actually kind of like a plastic material. So I passed on those just because they weren't the real materials like the authentic pieces that I would have wanted um I did find like a really beautiful ceramic mug which was like beige and green it was $2.99 and then I also found this um kind of like I think it's an ice cube holder but basically is what you would call it it was like a really grainy looking wood for the body of it and then it had like a black material on the handle I believe and I did like that and in the past whenever I've picked those up they've sold like really quickly in my shop I've never found one that was exactly my style but whenever I've picked them up I have been able to sell them in my shop Urban Darling shop quite quickly so I was debating picking that one up um, but it was a little bit more on like the rustic farmhouse side and I would have to store it in my apartment if you guys are new here I kind of store my inventory in my bookcases in our living room so it's a mix of like my personal stuff and stuff for our shop I only have so much room so I have to be like kind of picky and choosy with what I pick up so usually it's something that I know is going to do well or sell quickly that's the hopes anyway so I did not get any of those the mug I probably would have picked up just for myself so I may end up going back if I don't find anything at this next location, but I kind of wanted to um, hold out and see if there was anything better at the other location. So we'll see. I also may end up getting a coffee because I'm feeling a little tired today. So we'll see what I end up deciding to do, but let's go ahead and head to the second location, which is in Lawrenceville. <laughs> So I ended up passing on the things I saw at the Lawrenceville location. I did see a couple of cute like shoes and boots, but they were not my size, they were too big. And I saw a couple of things that I thought would be cute for Skylar at both these locations. So maybe I'll do like a thrifting vlog, thrifting stuff for Skylar soon, and maybe like some clothing for me as well. We'll see. Um, and I saw a couple of like cute wood bowls in the home decor section, but nothing that I was super excited about, especially because I already have plenty of those in my shop inventory. Um, so I did end up passing on most of that stuff. I am actually in Lawrenceville. That's where that Goodwill location is. It's a popular neighborhood here in Pittsburgh. So I am really close to field day right now. I'm thinking I'm going to pop over there just for fun and get a little coffee perk, maybe do a little bit of work. I really want to plan a trip to the Goodwill bins. I just need to like squeeze that into my schedule somehow. I am just so frugal and all of the Goodwill locations have gotten so expensive in store that it really just makes me want to like stick to the Goodwill outlets, the bins, because you can literally find so much for like basically I could buy three things at Goodwill but instead buy like a huge bag of clothes and books and decor and a bunch of stuff for the same price like $25 at the bins so it's just so much more worth it and I'm so frugal that I feel like I might not be doing as much of the thrifting in the Goodwill locations we'll see but I definitely want to try to squeeze in a trip soon so I will let you guys know when that will be but let's go ahead and pop into field day really quick. Okay, 
guys hopefully the lighting is going to be okay it is super weird today my skin's also really pale so it kind of like throws it off but anyway i'm back in my car now i got my coffee from field day um i sat inside a little bit um it was really packed today so i finally got a table there at the end um but i basically just made like some quick space on my phone so i'd be able to finish this vlog so I'm going to finish up my coffee and head out here in a second. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog, even though I didn't really end up thrifting anything. Um, I still hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what those thrift stores had to offer. Also at that second location, um, they have a lot of Pittsburgh sports stuff. So like penguins, I think it was, and they might've had some Steelers stuff as well. So it looks like somebody came and dropped off a ton of that stuff. Like bobblehead collection guy things and like sign photos and stuff i'm not super into sports i didn't grow up with sports so i don't know too much about that but if anyone from the pittsburgh area is watching and likes that kind of stuff or knows someone that does definitely head to the lawrenceville goodwill to pick some of that stuff up hmm saute is actually so good and they kind of have these like really funny um minimal plastic lids yeah it just says field day how cute is that? It's a new spot here in Lawrenceville. So I think my next vlog, Sunday's vlog, is actually going to be another styling leather jacket outfits video, but I think I'm gonna do either just my cropped black leather jacket or my long trench coat. I'm not sure yet, but that will be Sunday's vlog. And then hopefully in the next few weeks, I'll be able to head to the Goodwill bins and do like a huge thrift with me there and hopefully like a big thrift haul as well. So definitely keep checking back for those videos if you guys are interested in my thrifting style videos. I hope that you guys have also been enjoying my outfit styling videos and I'm hoping to do some home decor stuff soon for fall but let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see more of on my channel. Don't forget to check me out on all my other socials at The Urban Darling. My biggest platforms are Instagram of course and TikTok. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest and check out my blog theurbandarling.com for more content as well. And if you guys aren't subscribed, please, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and also share with someone that you think would like my channel as well so that you guys can help me grow my YouTube channel. I'm doing two vlogs a week, Friday and Sunday with shorts in between. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate your support and I will see you guys in Sunday's vlog. Bye.